Hi beautiful tarot world, it's Ethany and I have a new deck, the Spirit Song Tarot by Paulina Cassidy. I have Paulina's other two other uh, tarot decks um, and I also have her Fairy Reflections deck as well. Um, I got pre-ordered this deck last year and it came and then I got busy so it's just in the been in the pile of decks to uh, unbox and a spring is going to be here soon and I want to use more animal decks I have brought it out to be unboxed uh, it's by uh, published by US game systems it has 78 cards and 108 pages in the guidebook it's a lovely um, box maybe this is the way that they're going to be doing their tarot decks from now on who knows we'll wait and see um, the box design is gorgeous so I'm pretty excited about that and it says on the back that the the suits have changed in this deck. They have um, acorns for wands and fire, feathers for swords and air, shells for cups and water, and crystals for coins and earth. And I've seen that in a few um, na natural decks um, that have done very similar things um, for changing the suits. Uh, so... We're going to switch over cameras now with better lighting and uh, let's go through the deck and have a look at these beautiful cards. Hello lovely ones, so now we're going to unbox the Spirit Song Tarot and we're going to go through the deck and give you my two cents. I love the matte finishing of the box. I just, Paulina's art is so beautiful, hey, like, just gorgeous. It's a really lovely box. Those colours together are quite delicious. It reminds me of like a peaches and yeah, just beautiful. Now yeah. it is double sealed, so I'm glad I brought over some scissors so I don't lose my teeth. So just give me two seconds. I also have a hot cup of tea sitting next to me, so I don't want to do anything to knock it over because that would be so something that I do. Oh, yo, yo, I cry for all over my decks. All right. So we have the guidebook. Let's have a look what's in this guidebook for a hot second. So we have introduction, spirit song animals, the elemental signs, the suit. So we have acorns for fire, feathers for air, shells for water, and crystals for earth. Interesting because I would see an acorn as. Um, earth but uh, I do get why because of the you know their endurance and they can grow to be the you know so such a big thing in the oak trees okay so then we go straight into the card I'm going to have a look oh the spreads are at the back so the spirit of song star spread healing spread Tree of life. And then there's an oracle. I like that. It's so cool. It's like a little guidebook. Connecting to your cards too, a little bit there. These are the backs. I'm really looking forward to working with this in spring. Um, it's reversible. The copyright 2017 US games, does it really have to be on the back? Way to uglify it, guys. Or is that just me being a pain in the ass? I don't know. Over to you, Tarot Tribe. What do you think? Okay. Okay, so one of the things that I um, wasn't so sure about when I saw this deck is the keywords. Um, because I prefer my decks with no keywords, but I'm going to see how I go with this. So we have 
the fool or the traveler the magician of course it's a crow or a raven the lynx i'd say her artwork is so beautiful like i really love um i have all of her decks actually even her oracle decks and they're just simply stunning cougar or a mountain lion these bastards are silent too like you know living here never mind the bears you don't want to get any near a cougar because you won't see them coming oh i love that the shaman instead of the hierophant love instead of lovers i think it changes a little bit like i get here the choice and trust thing is very connected to both love and the lovers but i like the lovers more than love because love is such a large concept that it can be it is transcendent to, to anything or any partnership or two people or seven people or whatever whereas the lovers is more of the it talks more of the sacred connection between the two the mirror between the two um and the even if it's more than one person and the repercussion of choice and action but i still really like that but for me like i prefer the lovers the chariot the rhino strength it's also interesting to think like if i did an animal deck would i choose strength as a elephant because you'd think maybe like the obvious choice would have been a, a lion, right? But this is so freaking cute. The hermit. Come see the hermit, the ever stoned Australian animal that is extremely grumpy and smells. Um, but they are really freaking cute. Um, yep. <laughs> I love octopi. Love love love. Justice. The hanged man. So death being transformation. I'm assuming that's a cicada. Cicada. However you say it. Tomato, tomato, cicada, cicada, let's go the whole thing, a bug. Um, they are very pretty. They do make beautiful songs, if that's what it is. I'm pretty sure it is. Zebra, temperance. And just a coyote, the shadow. We have a lot of those around here. And it always makes me sad because those look so skinny. And you're not allowed to feed them, but I want to. The tower. Interesting. Interesting that it's a chameleon. I want to read more about the choice around that. The star. The swan. An owl for the moon. Of course, of course. Oh, hummingbirds. Oh my god, I love hummingbirds. So beautiful. There were hummingbirds in um, Peru. Um, and oh my god, they were everywhere. It was just so sunny. And something that my I've just noticed is look at the like the lollipop color um, in the cards themselves. Like it reminds me of like rainbow hair. Oh, love it. The peacock awakening. What a lovely little additional detail. The world a sperm whale. Interesting choice of whale. Wonder if there'll be any more. I love whales. Okay, ace of acorns, so ace of wands, the ram. It's a ram, right? Looks like Aries, that's an Aries sign to me. Okay, so what else is very cool is like you'll see in some um, animal decks. But like all the birds are in the feathers and I like that she's changed that up and it's not the case here. Oh, a giraffe. So it looks like there's a really good mix here of... The difficulty for me is like I would like to have kept 
the that without having that. I do like the symbol there for the what element. Um, but I can't cut that without cutting into this. It would look bad. And then if I remove that, the title, um, it would be, I'd spend more time trying to count the acorns in some of them than focusing on the reading. It would take me out of the flow. That's really cool. Five of Wands, yeah. Love it. Uh, so I'm going to have to keep it. Beautiful. Her artwork is just like, I don't think you can fault her artwork in any way. I like this so beautiful. Donkey Burro. Oh yes, page of wands. Totally a little monkey, right? Totally. Warthog. Makes me think of, um, he's a big pig. Yep, yep, you can be a big pig too. Oi! Like, no matter, no matter what, every time I see a warthog or a me, kind of like, hee <laughs> Lion King. <laughs> um, Queen of Acorns. I know I'm not alone in that either. I'm just a bit of a silly dag. King of Acorns, horse. Ace of shells, right? One shell takes it with it, right? 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 Oh, lovebirds or turtle doves. Yep, I get that. Bliss, playfulness. Oh, light bug. I was wondering where the little otters would come in. I love otters. Lobster or a crayfish. Penguin. My kid loves penguins. Oh my god, he's like obsessed with penguins. Oh, frog. Like some of this I like is just artwork. Like I love, and I've said a lot about a lot of animals. Actually, I just like animals, like to be fair. But I adore frogs. I like adore like snakes, frogs, lizards, you know, all that kind of amphibious, reptile y animals. And I love ocean animals too. I do really like the king of shells being that also what else is really cool about that is like the the way that um Seahorses raise their young. And how they both share. Okay, so now we're on to feathers. Gecko! Moth. Oh, yes. Just gonna lay down here gonna lay down for five minutes I feel like that today then maybe that's why I'm like resonating with that bear I want to go hibernate mm. it's very positive even like for so the nine of feathers nine of swords which is not the most positive card in tarot reading um, in the tarot deck as it is it's given perspective and self-empowerment and what may be great for people who really struggle with um the more stark nature of some of the cards in more other decks this would be a really good way to learn i i either learn the more pos positive meanings of some of the harder cards um or to use it um the deck just as a more self-empowering thing and the snake there. Oh my gosh. We had raccoons fighting outside the other night. It sounds like a banshee. I have never heard anything like it. It was terrifying. 
they sound like nothing I've ever heard. I'm like, there's going to be some dead animal out there in the morning because they were, sound like they were killing each other. Cute but dangerous. Oh, the lions, king of feathers, the man, the male lion. Okay, earth, crystals, panda. Kangaroo. It's nice to see some Australian, Australian animals. The bee, y'all know how much I love the bees. Beaver, so cute. Oh, ladybug. Every time I see a ladybug, I feel like my life has been like blessed. Ladybug blessings. Only cat. Kind of looks like a numbat. I don't think it is, but it looks like a numbat. Eight of crystals. It's waiting for a freaking spider to show up. You know you have your shoes and you don't even like holding it. God, put them in there. <laughs> um, tender crystals. I like that. Crocodile or alligator. I think that's a croc. Hedgehog. So cute. Diamond. Beautiful cards. Okay, so I'm going to have a quick shuffle. The card stuck, like I said, is lovely. Um, and then I'll see what information we get in the guidebook. These decks tend to like glide like that pretty well. Six of crystals. It's Timon. <laughs> okay. Mia cat. So we get a little bit of the message and then we move up to keywords, reverse meaning and reverse keywords. So it is a pretty, um, basic meaning like meaning guidebook but that's cool um like i said i think this really more focuses on a lot more of the positive but although she does have reversals so that's you know great too but the 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 keywords on most of these cards are more remain to be positive i'm actually looking forward to bringing this into my working deck pile for spring as we start to get more sun and everything. So I'm very excited to work with this deck. Uh, you can get this from like Amazon or the Book Depository or the US Game Systems, um, just in case you forgot website. Uh, and as always, thank you so much for watching.